उत्साहित हिरक जयंती वर्षर ये प्रधान दिन प्रथम दिन तेजे पास पे प्रस्तुत हिरक जयंती वर्षर प्रथम दिन guest of honor father sunit kiro rector and principal of don bosco school parhampur sister divya lakra as a major 60 years back a tree came into existence and gave fruits many of us present here are those same fruits so we the part of our institution have gathered round to celebrate this great occasion i rifa juhani and i orchishman hanja welcome each and every one of you in this grand occasion of diamond jubilee is imparted yes very true orchishman it is a joint venture by many people which accounts for the successful tasking of a school rather it's a place we learn to live yes it is a place where we acquire and inculcate various virtues such as obedience kindness patience courage and many more A school provides a platform for holistic development. Make the bookish knowledge, learning how to talk, or how to sing, or how to dance, or maybe how to play. And this is what our dear father, Bishop, dreamt of. Our smiling Bishop kept the foundation stone of the school. Young souls of today, filled with values and ethics, to make a better nation for tomorrow. To mark the commencement of the 60th year of Mary Immaculate School, Berhampur, we pray to Almighty Father to keep us under His vigilance and divine guidance. Now we want to welcome you.
to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee of our esteemed institute, Mary Immaculate School. I feel extremely proud and privileged to introduce our honorable chief guest for this evening, Sri Shobhendranath, District Judge of Murshidabad. Please. Madam Madhupurna Das, wife of Sri Shomindranath, and Sister Vice Principal Sister Escaline, to welcome our guest of honor with a token of gratitude. Sir, a clap. Thank you, Sister Superior, Sister Annie, to welcome. Our honorable guest, Sister Devya Lakra, with a token of regard, love, and gratitude. It's an honor to have you, Sister, amongst us. Please. Provincial Superior, I would request Mother Vita, ma'am, to kindly welcome Sister Reena. Please. All, I hope everybody will enjoy and have a wonderful time with us today. Can I hear a round of applause, please? A big clap, everyone. Thank you. And we dance for the dreams. You dance. Praise Him with string and pipe. Amen. Thank you. 
especially for our upcoming kids to understand, let's welcome the group of phonics sounds. Oh, 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 ba, 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 ka, ka, ka. charge 
of his diocese as a bishop for the first time. The bishop then walked straight into the series of crises. The first of the series that affected him and his mission was the Second World War, the Great Fury of Bengal, and then the partition of India in 1947. He started many schools and boardings to raise the literacy rate. He was a man of action, guarded himself with faith and total dependence on God to tackle the crisis. He was an instrument through whom God had forced the existence of this institute to impart love, service and knowledge to all. His life unfolds before us the story of a missionary bishop who could love God and help others to love Him. The call of God is amazing how a young boy of USA traveled all the way to India to live here and serve people in need and marvels. He loved children dearly and enjoyed being the miss as a father and a friend. His great energy and missionary zeal urged him to visit his flock. During one of such tours to Barhampur, a group of officials and prominent residents of the locality made Bishop Mado and requested him earnestly to make some notable contribution to the educational sector of Barhampur as there were no facilities for quality education in Barhampur. Bishop Moradhan, seeking the will of God and taking the advice of his councils and conferences, has started construction of a building for sisters and opened a Montessori school on 15 January 1962. This, with the passage of time, Mary Immaculate School grew beyond expectations, imparting quality education to the people of Baharampur. On this joyous occasion of Diamond Jubilee, we gratefully remember and thank God for Bishop Morrow and the SMI sisters for their valuable and dedicated services to the humanity. We take this opportunity to congratulate you, sisters, teachers, collaborators, well-wishers, and beg God's blessings upon this institution of MIS. Thank, thank you. you of us. We all know national integration is the awareness of a common identity among the citizens of a country. It means that though we belong to different castes, religions, and regions, and speak different languages, we recognize the fact that we are all one. This kind of integration is very important for building a strong and prosperous nation. Here comes the case of a UK section presenting a rhyming presentation on national integration. School has completed a curious journey of 60 years. We are very happy and proud to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee program. On this occasion, we are presenting a program on national integration. The very essence of our country. Please enjoy the program. Thank you, everyone.
Shetty, I'm from Panchgiri. My name is Jam Shetty, I'm from Panchgiri. I speak Parsi, but I'm just like you. My name is Vindia, I'm from India. <laughs> children. The great saying goes so, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Thank you. It's my pleasure to welcome all of you to this August gathering. The assembly of such distinguished personalities within the premises of our school is a memorable experience for all of us. It's an enduring tradition to take time to pause, turn around to look at the fruitful years gone by, achieving both the expected and the unexpected, while setting various milestones and then synergizing ourselves to move ahead, to face the challenges in the coming years with a positive attitude. We thank the Almighty God for all the blessings bestowed upon us year after year as we are started with the precious diamond. MIS has been stepping from success to success all through the past 60 years since its humble beginning in 1962. We have done in excellently in academics and non-academics. At this juncture, I wish to put on record my sincere gratitude to the management, staff, students and the parents for your kind support and guidance. With great pressure, I present in a nutshell the highlights of the past 60 years through a video documentary. Deforestation is one of the largest issues having adverse effect on the global environment causing climate change, soil erosion, desertification, fewer crops, flooding, increased greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and a host of problems for indigenous people. Here, we are presenting a short sketch on freeze. Why is it important to save freeze? It is the responsibility of everyone to do our bit for the environment. Therefore, let us work together towards a greener and more livable future. Turn this barren land 
education for our younger generation and enable them to become the ideal citizens of our progressing nation. The grace of Almighty, our school has been making a steady progress in the right direction. I would like to emphasize that we continue our challenging journey towards excellence in education and solicit cooperation and support from everyone for the same. Thank you. Co-anchors, see if 
Philip and Andres to take the show further. Wish you all a pleasant evening. Thank you. By the number of years, but by what one feels and what one has achieved. This iconic institution, founded by our founder, Bishop Morrow, ever since been tirelessly working to fulfill its mission of imparting education and selfless service to the society. Once again, we wish you all a very good evening. I, Adrish Ghosh, and I, Silpat Ara, shall take you all the rest of the journey of this grand event. Adrish, we believe that coloring something gives life to it. Like Holi. Holi is a festival of colors and Holi itself is maneuvered to several colors, establishing its sense literally in our mind and soul throughout centuries. Presenting before you the color dance by the tiny tots of our school. Has come out 
to normalcy through an enormous fight. Our next dance drama is based on the struggle and win. These of these days are the most nostalgic memories of lifetime. <laughs>
life must go on. Never give up the hope and self-belief in adversity. his own life for the well-being of the other that is worship worthy the health care workers the doctors the nurses security agencies the forces the police and the various other staff we bow down to you Let me know about 
about you all? Apple. An apple in a day keeps a doctor away. Hello everyone. I am an apple. I am good for your health. Each in my bird. I improve your in your burger. I have cheese. Everyone finds me tasty. People enjoy eating me. If you eat me regularly, soon you will look like me. Round and round and round. Bucket. Hello everyone. I am Bucket. Some people love me. Some people hate me. But there is no denying that I am a nutritional wonder. I promise you know this game. Soft drink. Hello everyone. I am soft drink. People serve me chill with ice cubes. Especially children drink me with straws. I am always with you when you milk. Hello everyone. I am milk. I make you strong. I am rich in calcium and protein. I am a complete food. Wonderful piece of the hero's glass of food. Do 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 do. Hello, everyone. I am chocolate. I am super tasty. I am sweet and full of sugar. Cat and candy. Children like to eat me. Banana. Hello, everyone. I am banana. I am so. Stop, stop. 
Let's not be careless and make our land look bad. Our home, the earth, is a place for us to feel glad.
বছর ভরে ছুটি হেসে খেলে আরাম করে দুশো মজা লুটি কারে কবে কে আর করি কিসের করি ডর কাজের নামে কম্প দিয়ে গায়ে আসে জ্বর গাধার মতো খাটিস তোরা মুখটা করেছু
would be by high school students. I request Sir Shovik to keep and to come and give an introduction about the act. Distinguished guests, the skit that you are about to present tonight is not for kids. It is particularly addressed to our dear parents. And we would like to share a very strong and thought-provoking message to everyone present here. In recent times, we have often come across young and grown-up children who are victims of divorce and mutual separation of their parents. They are also witness to domestic violence. In a way, their lives have been crippled owing to the lack of love of their parents. Probable reasons of divorce is not our concern tonight. But yes, we would definitely wish to emphasize the impact it has on these young and tender minds. And sometimes, these leads to severe consequences in their lives. Therefore, I would urge an appeal to everyone present here to give it a second thought before taking such a decision in life. Let us save a life. Thank you everyone for listening to me. Now, let's witness the skit titled, Come Back. Thank you. Other, but things soon turned sour between the mother and the father and they separated when the child was very young. The child continued to live with his mother. Huh? What? I heard that you did not attend Prishap's school function. What? Stop blaming me for everything. Why should I? I had a small meeting with my colleagues and the vice president. I did not get time. What? Did not get time, you say? Is the meeting more important than our child? Do you not need to look after the child? I said I was busy. Some work came up and I just had to go. I am asking if your work is more important than your child. Then why didn't you attend the school function? Stop being ridiculous. How would I have attended it? I was working. So your work is work and what about my work? Come on now. Does the house not survive on the money that I earn? Don't I pay his school fees? Don't I pay the electricity bill? Can't you even do something for the family and attend his school function? Is the child only my liability? Don't you bear any responsibility towards this house? But please stop, mommy. Even I work. Even I earn money for this house. Even I pay for his school fees and electricity bills. So that's your point now. I ask you whether your work is more important or the child. No, no. You're just trying to cover up your irresponsibility. What? I'm supposed to attend this, attend that, and what are you to do? Sit and enjoy. And you are the one being irresponsible here. I doubt that if not for your job, you would have been a complete worthless being live on the streets. How dare you? Stop this. Please. I can't take it anymore. I will file for a divorce suit and put an end to all this. I want a divorce. Okay, fine. Again? 
Go, go and play with the maid. Sunita. Sunita, did he? Mama is with the maid. What a mess. Whole day work and work. No rest, no TV. I'm tired. And then this boy. Oh God. Sunita, did he? Sunita, did he? Will you please play with me? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Sure, sure. Okay, then let me bring the game. Okay, but before that, did you have your lunch? No, I don't like to eat alone. Mommy is busy. I see. Okay, come, I'll feed you. Didi, my tummy is full. I don't want to eat anymore. No, Risha, you should not waste food. But Didi, I want to play now. Okay then, such nice food. My salary is not enough to buy such good food. His parents know only how to earn and spend and fight all day. They don't know how to look after the child at all. Come on, Didi, let's play. Oh no, I forgot to mop the floor. Risha, let me finish my work or else your mother will kill me. I cannot keep playing with you all day. Go, do your work. Stop bothering me. There is no one to care for this child. Mommy, will you please help me with my homework? Not now, tomorrow. Okay, Mommy. There is a parent-teacher meeting tomorrow in the last minute. Oh, okay. I'll try. Let me see. My friend! 
Indian's parents do not fight that much. Why do only my parents fight? I have not done anything wrong. Why does mommy not play with me? Back then, father used to live with us and everything was good. Now he lives somewhere else. I don't know why I even promised him I would be a good boy. Still, he never comes back home and stay with us. Don't worry. We are here for you. I will talk to your mother. In principal's office. Fresh up, sir. Yes. What happened? Well, I'm the principal. I need to talk to you regarding your child. Can you please come now? I'm really sorry. I have to attend a very important meeting now. Uh, see the matter is very urgent. Can you come to school now? I guess your husband is here in the town. Yes. Uh, then can you bring him along as well? I will be expecting you both in my office. Thank you. After some time. See that? Your child is in which class? Can you please tell me? Four. Six? No, six, madam. Your child was promoted to six this year. Can you please tell me what is his favorite game? Ludo. Chess. No, chess, madam. Well, what kind of food does your child like? Veg or non-veg? Non-veg? No, veg, madam. The form says veg. Look, how well do you know your child? I do not think the school has the right to interfere. Oh yes, it does. Because both of you have been failure as parents. I have heard that neither of you are paying proper attention to the child. The child has told ma'am that there is no one he can rely on. Can you even understand through what mental struggle your child is going? I am not speaking randomly. I have here the child's past records. In the last two years, the child has not participated at all in any school activities. In his class test, he has scored the lowest. Even his academics are going down. Do you call this parenting? The child has said that you rarely come home. Madam, we are very sorry. We are separated. Why should the child suffer for your separation? Your child's well-being is at stake. The teacher has told me about his lack of concentration in the class. He has been avoiding his friends and has ended up being alone. He feels lonely. He has lost his faith in family and is insecure. Do you know that when he was pressurized to say about his family, he ran away hiding from everyone? He does not trust anyone. Can you see how your relationship is affecting the child? Can you see that you are snatching away his childhood from him? Have you ever noticed that your child is always on the verge of tears? He rarely ever smiles. And you have a child too. See, you do not need to sacrifice anything. A little bit of understanding helps. The peace of mind and health of family matters because if the child grows up in between all this, how do you think will he treat you people, his wife, his children? Try to understand and talk things out. I hope that you do so soon. If not for yourself, then for your child. But don't worry, things will surely work out. I shall pray for you. At home, the same evening. Yes, mommy. Go call your father for dinner. Really, mommy? Is he coming home? Yes. Hello, Papa. Risha, hey, what's up? You know, mommy is calling you home for dinner. Please come fast. Really? Wow, that's great. I'll be there in no time. I'm sorry. I can't 
cannot bring back the time which has already passed. But I have been too ignorant. It is to come. Yes. For the sake of our child, let us not separate, so that he may have a good future. I will try to make some good memories, which the child can cherish for days to come. I am sorry for whatever I have done, for not understanding your situation and for running away from my responsibilities. I do am sorry. I will withdraw this suit. I will try to create a better future for our child together. I hope that our child does not suffer like this ever again. Because no child deserves as such. A new beginning. A happy family. It's time for dinner. Let me set the table. Let me call him. Rishabh, come to the dining hall. It is time for dinner. Rishabh, come here. Let's have dinner. Yes, Papa. Let me order your favorite food. What happened in school today? Mummy, you know, I got 10 and 10 in geography. I'm so happy. Like begets like. A broken family can only help coming generations. The behavior that the child sees and learns from his parents is how he will behave in future. A broken family cannot provide the necessary happiness and the environment that the child needs to grow. An environment where everyone is looking out for themselves will only make the child selfish and instill in him the bad qualities. On the other hand, a healthy family ensures the all-round development of the child. It makes sure that the child grows up to be a responsible human being. When one teaches his own child, he not only passes on the virtues and the values to the next generation, but also for generations to come. So, a healthy family ensures many generations of healthy families. Thus, it is important in life to not only have a good job and stable income, but also a happy family. Thank you. For all of us, I feel honored and privileged to be here in this very nice Diamond Jubilee celebration that is being held at our Mary Immaculate School. We have just witnessed this play where we have seen the parents fighting and is thinking about a divorce. This is the thing which I would have addressed you all. I am seeing the courts getting flooded with divorce cases. Cases, uh, the parents are fighting for the custody of the child, for partitioning, for judicial separation, not even thinking about their future of their children. For this, the Honorable Supreme Court has opened District Legal Services Authority's office in every district of the country where the parents are counseled, given free legal advice. The parents are requested to sit with the mediators and where their matrimonial disputes are resolved. We have seen our children performing today such nice performances made by them. It's, it is we should thank the school authorities for bringing them up in such a nice manner. Their futures are secure because their parents are bringing them to school every day and the school authorities are making them such nice human beings and such good citizens of the country. I have prepared a very short speech on this occasion, first of all, I would like to congratulate the school authorities, the students, the guardians, and all other distinguished guests who are present here to be a part of the Diamond Jubilee celebration at Mary Immaculate School. Mary Immaculate School 
I have learned was founded in the year 1962 with the vision of imparting quality education to the children of yesterday, today and tomorrow. Mary Immaculate School has strayed over the path of courage, righteousness, showing new hopes to every child to achieve academic excellence. A school is the basic foundation of knowledge being imparted to a child. It gives a chance to the child to acquire knowledge in various fields of education, such as literature, history, mathematics, and other subjects. A school is a place where a child spends most of his time right from his early childhood years. The period that children spend in schools is considered as the most crucial years for a child's development. The school just should not just be confined to academics, but it should also be responsible for moral, spiritual, mental, physical, as well as cultural development. A school, as well as the parents, expects their child to score high grades and pass the exams with flying colors. However, the academic performance is not just about learning chapters and facts. It entails to develop, developing problem-solving skills, situation handling skills, etc. A school helps a child by enhancing his academic potentials. The teachers encourage the child to think various solutions of a single problem. In this way, the school can improve the academic potential of our students. We have seen the, the, uh, the students performing today. Kindly see each and every student of this very nice school performed so brilliantly. I am just, it was just an awesome performance by each and every student. I think it is one of the finest evenings of my stay at Bharampur. Today I am so, I feel honored and I feel lucky that I am here today with you all. Thank you madam for inviting me. Principal madam came to my place, she requested me and I am grateful to her that I could witness such a performance today. Now, character of a child from his or her childhood days, the right way of sitting in school behaving with the fellow students, interacting with the teachers as well as other staff members and basic etiquettes are taught in the schools. This is what makes a man. I was a student of St. Patrick's School at Asansol. I passed out in the year 1989, ICSC. Still I remember my brothers, Brother Bedo, Brother Pinto, Brother Bela. Why do I remember those names? those brothers, because they were my heroes, because they taught me how to behave and how to become an upright human being. So if you ask me which are the best days in your life, I would say my days in my school at St. Patrick's at Asansol. A school instills a broader perspective in every child. The cultural activities, sports competitions, festival celebrations enable the students to explore their skills and develop new areas of interest. A good school facilitates the students to discern multiple options to choose their fields. It is the role of a school to discover the innate talent of a child and then assist the child in translating the passion into a career choice. Now I am shortening my speech because I want to see my children perform here and not deliver a lecture. Today is not a day where I should deliver a lecture. So it is Mary Immaculate School is one of the best schools in this district and definitely in our country, in this huge nation, which aims to empower its students with knowledge and experience of life skills, not just cognitive, but it also empowers the students by giving them moral, ethical and spiritual development of each and every children and leaves no chance to encourage its student and the family to be confident and move forward with whatever they have. It teaches the students about how values are considered a greater achievement than academics. The well-experienced faculty lets the students imagine so that they can grasp the concepts faster.
They encourage them to explore, experience, experiment and find their own path of discovery. They also provide them with a stimulating environment where love, affection and joy bring out the best in them physically, mentally, socially and emotionally. Thank you all for being a wonderful audience and lending me your time. I extend my heartiest cooperation to the school authority, all teachers and all well-wishers and my blessings to all my students. I salute the tireless efforts and dedication on the part of the on the part of the principal, sisters and other faculty members towards the all-round development of this school. Jai Hind.
happiness and excitement. It's an entertainment in the form of activity that holds the audience's interest and attention. The family of God, little devils, for entertaining you all.
we had an opportunity to hear the thoughts and this will surely be going to encourage us in the future events. Your thoughts have enlightened our minds and have shown us a new path. To conclude our program, I request Sister Principal to come here and sh share the words of encouragement and gratitude. Thank you. This institution has completed 60 years of service to Pirambu. My heart resonates with gratitude to God and our beloved Mother Mary for the myriads of blessings showered upon our institution. I bow my head and express vibrations of gratitude to our most loving Father Founder, Bishop L. R. Moro, for without him, this institution would have no existence. Parents, please keep silence. We are indeed privileged to have with us Sri Shomendra Das, Honorable District Judge, as our Chief Guest. Sir, we are highly honored to have you in this colorful banquet and thank you for making yourself available from your busy schedule. Thank you, sir. Parents, please put your hands together. Words are not enough to express my gratitude to our dear sister Divya Lepra, General Counselor, Sister Rena Joseph, Provincial Superior, for your magnanimous presence with us. MIS has always experienced your timely intervention and guidance in all aspects of his administration. Thank you, sisters, for gracing this occasion by your presence. A warm thank you to Reverend Father Sunit Giro, Principal and Director of Don Bosco School, for adding an extra spark to this event by his presence. Thank you, Father, for you are always there to help us in all our needs. Thank you. I sincerely thank our dear sister Annie that we have enjoyed. Thank you, sister, for the marvelous way you have guided us in all the works of institution. My special thanks to our distinguished guests, respected principals, fathers, sisters, for your generous presence with us to grace this occasion. You have indeed uh, doubled our joy by your presence. Thank you for coming and attending this occasion, enjoying our little ones program. Thank you so much. I thank Sister Iskalin, Vice Principal and the Primary in Charge, Sister Sabina, Sister Mercia, Office in Charge, for their periodical monitoring and solid support in all the aspects of this event. Thank you, sisters, for I enjoy the spirit of collaboration from you. From the depth of my heart, I thank the entire band of my beloved teachers for putting an extra effort and extra energy for the last few months. Please put your hands together for our teachers in ensuring coordination among the students and ensuring that every performance is perfect. Was it not perfect, dear sisters and guests? A big thank to all of you, dear teachers, for working so hard. You have toiled very, very hard. And thank you for all of you. Thank you so much. My sincere thanks to MISA members headed by Dr. Dibai and Karakta. All the progressive and praiseworthy work has been possible only because of the massive cooperation of everyone associated with it. Thank you for all the past people team. My heart is throbbing with gratitude to the entire team of non-teaching staff for their sincere gratitude goes to sound and light operators and even management team for the service that you continue to offer 
to the institution during these days of celebration yet to come. It gives me immense joy to see all the parents present here and I share the sentiments of gratitude to all of you for the marvelous way you have cooperated and supported this institution to uphold its name, its values and ethos. Thank you, dear parents. All children, you have put your best with your team spirit and made this day so beautiful. Where are they? They all went home. Thank you so much. It's your ability which made this day so memorable. To conclude, we can only say that we are committed to produce super useful, confident, efficient, and self-sufficient students who carry out the values of love, compassion, empathy, truthfulness, and sacrifice everywhere. Once again, thanks to one and all.